take you on the adventure. So it's Friday. That is the worst day to get your car towed. Yes. I'll tell you why. Because the parking citation people are open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. I get there at 15 to 5. I'm like, I did it, Pam. <laughs> I did it. I be yeah. I need something for that. No, I need like real, like happy music because I got there before five. Yeah! So I was like, I did it! I got there before five! So I get there, I'm racing it. It was like so sweaty. I'm there and I'm like, here you go, girl. I went to the bank beforehand. I moved all this money around. I'm ready to pay my tickets. And she's like, I need your license and registration. I'm like, my registration is in the car right. that was towed. Mm -hmm. And she's like, well, you can't pay your tickets until you get that registration. Excuse me? <laughs> money is money. Do you not want me to pay this, these tickets or not? So literally, I said to her, ma'am, how am I supposed to get to the tow yard, which is across town, and back to you in five minutes? And she was like, you can't. So I'll see you on Monday. <gasps> there is a reason, Pam. <laughs> So, so. Why that lady is behind bulletproof glass? <laughs> there is a reason why that lady is behind bulletproof glass. Okay, she she looked away. She just started to do busy work. She was just like, I don't have time for this lady. She's gonna get crazy, and I don't have time for her. But you know what, you guys? I didn't get crazy. I was like, huh, huh, okay, that's fine. And so, cut to Monday. By the way, when your car is towed, impounded, or whatever. You get charged what? Every day. Oh, okay. That's what they do, Pam. How much? It huh? is a hustle. Like a lot. Of yes, it is. Oh, poor. I'm sorry, Dehaley. Thank you, Pam. That's why I come and talk to you because I know you're going to have that sympathetic face. And so, literally, on a Monday, um, I went to get my go to the tow yard, get my registration, then go back to the citations people then give them the registration. Also, another thing you should never do, have your car registered out of state. I oh, no. could not do a payment plan because my car was registered out of state. So I had to pay, all I'm going to say, it was in the four digits. <gasps> that was how many no. tickets I had accrued. Oh, four no. digits worth. I need to give you a happy beat. Please give me a happy beat for that. <laughs> Okay, but no, literally, this is what That's it was lot. inside of my soul. It was a very sad and angry beat. Can I have that? A sad and angry beat. Was okay, this? we have to just change. We yeah, just change it. It was something way. more like this. <laughs> yes, like that. And then, and then, and then, I wanted to just like punch this lady like this. <laughs> but I didn't. Oh, what did you do instead? I just breathed it out. I was like, this is a benefit that I have at least the money to pay for this at this point. Yes, I don't have rent next month, but I have the money for my car now. Woo. And that's why I'm here with you guys on the Haley Live. Yeah! Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh! I like that one more time. Here we go. So the, the, that's what ended up happening, and then I got my car, and the long story short. So that's really I'm amazing. I'm sorry. I didn't know you had that stressful of a weekend. It, no car in L.A. for, what, three full days? weekend, yeah. Oh. But I have really good friends. That's what I learned who will drive me around. Um, another sidebar, remember last week when we talked about legitimate rape? For those of you guys mm -hmm. don't know, Senator Todd Aiken said something very scandalous a week earlier that women who get... Um, who uh, suffer from legitimate rapes um, do not get pregnant because the body shuts down. Remember how we were talking like about that? It rejects the it the rejects DNA the sperm. of the bad guy. Yeah. yeah. So like, it was like, come on now. Yeah. Like, all of a sudden, we're like, uh-oh, you're a rapist. I don't want to have your baby. Yeah. Bloop. <laughs> what happened to Precious? Precious had a baby that she didn't want. Was that not a legitimate rape by her father? I know, we got too dark. We got too dark. I'm sorry, it's but okay. this man was saying ridiculousness. So anyway, I'm going to bring it on a lighter moment. These group of grandmothers, this is going to be at my clip of the day, got together and did a song about legitimate rape. And I want to play it for you, okay. Pam. It is hilarious. Okay. And it's these people responding to this man, man's crazy assumptions that if you are legitimately raped, you cannot get pregnant. 
And he just, you know, he was trying to do this as a way for people never to have abortions because if, and even in terms of rape, because he was saying, you don't get pregnant. I guess, I guess all those people who just really want babies just have to just wish and dream about it and all the, wait, maybe I'm pregnant now. I just dreamed about it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, why do I even need to use condoms or birth control? Mm -hmm. Because I can just wish it away and then I'll never have a baby, right? Well, by the wrong guy, but hopefully by, by the, the right, right guy. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, it's getting a little weird. Um, but I'm looking forward to seeing this let's video. Let's see this video, Here, and then we'll come back in a moment. Let's see this video, and we'll be right back. Okay, we're still with me. But in a second, here comes that video. <laughs> outrageous and hilarious right yes my mother i looked like on the top second row oh really that's what she looks like <laughs> yes. oh my god we have to have her call in yeah she's such a granny Annie. <laughs> i would love to know what she's like okay so we have just a fabulous show for you today we have in studio a guest her name is loronda johnson she is a part of a new reality show called the real women of st louis can't wait to get in and talk to her about it please all of your her fans out there this is the time to call in and talk to her and look forward to being the sh having the show being on air. Again, our number is 626-794-2116. I'm always your host, DeHaley, and always at my side, that's it, our number is 626-794-2116, is Pam Manganero. And before we inter- Yeah, do it again, Ooh. I love it. <laughs> Pam and I are not only just on this show making magic happen for you, we also hang out outside of studio. And before we introduce our guest, LaRonda Johnson, we have a beautiful little clip that Pam and I shot today, uh, this week, because as a lot of you know who watch the show every week, Pam and I are on a mission to lose some weight, <laughs> even though, you know, the end of the summer is happening. It's mm -hmm. almost, I mean, but I mean, it was already 90 degrees. It's never, it's, I mean, we're gonna be able to wear bathing gonna suits. September's gonna be hot. Yeah, yeah. until. It's damn near November. Yeah. So we are trying to get our bodies right and bodies tight by Christmas time in LA, which thanks to global warming will also be 80 <laughs> degrees. Right? Yes. But um, boom. Um, thank you. So we have a wonderful clip of us getting in shape and that is going to be up next. And then right after that, Veronda Johnson. So you guys get ready for a fantastic show. Thank you again, and back in a moment. Enjoy this clip.
Is it mice? Nope. Rats? Nope. Hogs? That's right, miss. Hogs? Energy hogs. If you're wasting energy, you'll find one in your home. Got energy hogs in your house? Now you have the power to do something about them. Log on to energyhog.org. Hey, let me go. In your dreams, Porky. Because nobody likes an energy hog. There is really only one boy. One girl. One tree. One forest. One deep dancing ocean. One mountain calling. One handful of sand through our fingers. One endless sky overhead, and one simple way to care for it all. Please visit earthshare.org and learn how the world's leading environmental groups are working together under one name, Earthshare. One environment, one simple way to care for it. to another fantastic episode of Daily Live. Um, looking very um, interesting here. Kind of a dusky light. Uh, I like it. Um, my name is Dehaley, and welcome to our show. We have in studio with us the guest of the hour. Her name is LaRonda Johnson, and she is the executive producer and creator of Real Women of St. Louis, the, a new uh, reality show. Welcome, LaRonda. Everybody, <laughs> this is your camera right there. Okay, good to have you. Thanks for having me here. Thanks. So you have put together this wonderful reality show, and it's called Real Women of St. Louis, spelled R E E L versus yes. R E A L. Why is that? Because in the film, in the uh, music, the film industry is real. Demo reels, scissor reels. That's how we came up with real and study. R E A L. We did R E E L. Oh, fantastic! So that's how we came up with it. So all, all of you in the entertainment industry that are featured on the show? No. Oh, no. okay. All right, no. cool. <laughs> That's interesting. I think we even have a caller already. Wow, you are a popular lady. Oh. Hi, caller. Um, who do we have on the line? <laughs> oh, you have Michael Smith. Hi, Michael Smith. Welcome to the Haley Live. Do you have a call? Uh, a uh, a question for Loranda? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I, I just want to tell LaRonda that I've been following the show. I'm here in St. Louis, and the radio station and everything have been pumping it up. And I heard that she was going to be on your show today, and Ooh. I'm just a follower, and I follow on Twitter, Facebook, and I just wanted to give a shout-out. And I also want to ask her that, you know, ask her, you know, what inspired her to do this show? Oh, that's a great question. <laughs> uh, LaRonda, what inspired you to do this show? Well, I have a client that I do. I'm also a hairstylist. Ooh. So I have a client, and when I talk to her, I talk to her like she's one of my sisters or a friend or whatever, and I'll be like, pay me my money. You better do this. She said, you know what? You should be called a real woman to St. Louis because something, you are crazy. <laughs> so oh, so you have a catchphrase yeah. called pay me my money. You know what? <laughs> On to Haley Live, we always do a word of the day. So maybe today we're going to do a catchphrase of the day, and maybe the catchphrase <laughs> of the day is pay, pay me, me my money. <laughs> Damn, what kind of riff can we do for pay me my money? Pay me my money. money. Right now. <laughs> pay me. I like that. <laughs> Seriously, when I had to pay my parking tickets, that's exactly what I feel like. That I should have had that little drum thing. I should have been like, pay me. <laughs> my, my money. money. Pay me. My money. So, I mean, are you making dollar dollar bills now? I see on your hand a lot of bling happening. Can we go to a wide and see what this lady is bringing to the set? Um, I hope that's insured. Yeah. I want to make, make Fully sure. Fully insured. Oh, good. 
Um, so, Michael, are you still there? Was that a good answer to your question? Oh, that was great. Just, you know, like I say, I'm a fan and I'm also a follower. And, uh, and we, we admire her in the city. And uh, we just, we just want to let her know that we appreciate everything she's doing and we look forward to the show. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you so much, Michael. And um, I think this is a great time for us to like introduce what the show looks like. And you have a sizzle reel here that you've put together, and I can't wait to show it to our guests, and then we can further talk about what, what went into getting the show together. So in a minute, let's show the sizzle reel for Real Women of St. Louis. Mm -hmm. Coming right at you here on Haley Live, and you can always call at 626-794-2116. Real women, real women of St. Louis. Women of St. Louis. Real, real, real women. Women of St. Louis. Loranda. Lashonda. Ida. Chastity. Kelly. Why do you have a problem with me and her being friends? Because you don't quite know the meaning of a friend. I'm Ida. I'm all about business. I know what I want and I know how to go get it. I'm Chastity and I am the baby mother of a famous rap artist. And I'm also a nurse because I love to help people. And I also have the type of personality. Either you're going to love it or leave it. I'm Kelly, the sister of Kamora Lee Sanders. I'm known for snapping and shutting the bitch down. I'm Narana, ex-wife of a former NFL player. I run my own business and I live life to the fullest. I'm LaShonda, the CEO of Millennium Publishing and Production and I take care of business. Why do you have a problem with me and her being friends? Because you don't quite know the meaning of a friend. <laughs> Very spicy. <laughs> you don't quite know the meaning of a friend. Wow. She told you, or you told her. What was that <laughs> episode about? Oh, uh, well, we don't want to elaborate more on the episodes okay. until, you know, they see it and then they'll see what what it films was, that uh, argument. Oh, I see. Yeah. It was like, it, it just it get your appetite a little wet just to right. get people interested in that. Right. And I saw that there was a woman that looked very much like you. Is that your sister? Uh, that's my twin, Ashley. Oh, my LaShonda. goodness. Yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> and I think we have another caller on. Who do we have today with us right now? Hi, this is Chastity. I'm one of the real women of St. Louis oh. that Loranda tested. Oh, fantastic, Chastity. Thank you so much for calling us. Definitely. Thank you. You ladies look beautiful tonight. Oh, wow. Thank you. Appreciate <laughs> it. Um, so how did you and Loranda get together? How well, did you meet Chastity? Um, I know Loranda from um, some past experience of, I used to actually, she, she started doing my hair when she was here in St. Louis, so... We go um, back kind of far with her doing my hair, and she's a great person, and I'm so glad that when she decided to take on this endeavor that she kept me in mind for it. So are you guys enemies or friends on the show? Can I at least know that? We're friends well, on the show. I'll leave that for LaRonda. <laughs> <laughs> We're friends on the show. Me and her, Ashley, are friends. Oh, that's fantastic. Yes. So how many episodes have you guys shot so far? Right now we're shot. We have shot eight episodes. Oh, that's fantastic! And so we have a deal on the table, but we haven't confirmed anything yet. Okay, that's great. Yeah. And is it are they hour long episodes or half hour? Episodes? Half hour. Oh, yeah, we're really gonna great. do half hour. That's yeah. really great. Mm -hmm. So, Chastity, um, 
I don't know if you guys feel this. I always feel a tremendous amount of pressure to bring it with my clothes every week. Pam knows exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> and then Pam and I try to coordinate. Like today we're like, be in blue. I'll be in blue too. And we did it. Um, do you guys feel uh, pressure to, um, to, to coordinate your clothes or how do you manage to have such beautiful wardrobe every week, week after week? Well, I have all the girls to bring a wardrobe mm -hmm. and we pick from there. Oh, really? What, what are, so everybody can collaborate. We all can look good. Yeah, That's versus so having eye colors, this yeah. loud colors. So yeah. we just, yeah. Who is always messing up and getting the wrong color? Who's always bringing the zang leopard print when we don't need that? Is it Chandler? Kelly? Oh, it's Kelly. <laughs> You've been put on blast. <laughs> Kelly. You need a stylist. You need a stylist, Kelly. Kelly. <laughs> Chastity, thank you so much for calling. Keep, stay tuned. It's going to get more spicy. I'm going to actually, later on this episode, we always have a learn time moment. <laughs> and um, LaRonda is going to see if she can do something fly with this. <laughs> um, oh, my hair is looking it. a little... Um, Exciting, but it could be even more exciting. I don't know what's happening, but I want LaRonda to do some magic to it. Um, oh. So you you were also a wife of an NFL football star. Yes. Um, how was that? How was it to be a, a pro athlete's wife? Well, you know what you have to deal with the the likes and the dislike, all the women, and you know it's, it's a lot of groupies when you. Bye, Chastity. We thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I mean, it was great. It was great. We're still friends to this day. So you're not with him? No, we're not together, but we're still friends to this day. Did you put one of the groupers who tried to tear you apart on your show? No. Okay, okay. Because <laughs> that would have been no. a short episode. Real short. <laughs> it would have ended in jail. <laughs> no, no, not, I can tell you're classy. You wouldn't go out like that. You nah. wouldn't cut a lady. You just want to pay you your money. <laughs> Pam, where were you on that? <laughs> Oh no, oh, Kelly, is the Kelly is on the line. <laughs> Woo! Kelly, don't be mad that I said that you needed a stylist. I don't know who you are. I think you're fabulous. Thank you so much for calling. Hi, how are you guys? Hi, <laughs> <Hey>, Kelly. <laughs> I'm really laughing at LaRonda because she really put me on blast. <laughs> I know. I was like, who is not bringing the fl the flyest outfits? And she said, Kelly, Kelly, can you tell us what you're wearing right now? <laughs> What are you well, wearing right I'm, now, I'm Kelly? I'm wearing right now in St. Louis. It's about 11 o'clock, 11.30, and I'm wearing my pajamas. But are they the pajamas with footies in them? Because <laughs> that's not sexy no, I'm, time. I'm actually in the bed. Oh, okay. Okay, maybe she's wearing something very exciting. So are yes, you? I am, and <laughs> I would like to let you guys know that I just have a unique wardrobe. That's it. <laughs> You always need to have someone with a unique style choice. I think that that, that totally makes that, that makes it more interesting to be like, what, what's Kelly going to, crazy right. things Kelly going to wear today? <laughs> yes. Sure, uh, sure. And I love loud colors because <coughs> I have a loud attitude, so it works really well for me. Yeah. So, Kelly, are you bringing a lot of drama on the show, or are you just trying to be the peacemaker? What's your role on the show? My role on the show is actually just being me, and um, I'm going to be myself. So if anything happens, then what you'll see is what you'll get from the everyday Kelly. So I'm going to bring whatever it takes. Oh, I can't. Oh, that's very exciting. <laughs> By the way, if you guys, now that you've heard from Chastity and Kelly and LaRonda and talked even about LaRonda's sister, we're going to show the real, the, the sizzle reel again at the end of our segment, and then so that you'll be able to see all of these fantastic ladies in action. We're going to go to a quick commercial break, but when we come back, I want to get in depth with you about a few things. One. Okay. Um, thank you so much, Kelly. Please stay up. I know it's late for you in St. Louis. What time is it over there? Uh, 10? 11? No. About 12. I think Kelly went to sleep. <laughs> Kelly, still stay, stay watching. It's um, 9.30 here, St. Louis time. Isn't that... Um, uh, 11.30. Yeah, it's 11.30 St. Louis time. Yes. So it's, um, it's um, central time. So uh, we will... Be back in a moment. So when we come back, okay. these are the things that I would like to chat with you about. Okay. 
How long did it take you to put all of this together? And um, how, what was the editing process like? And what kind of shows inspire you to put this together? So if you're ready to, for her answers, stay tuned. Back in a moment. 626-794-2116. This is De Haley Live. Pam, take us out. Can I ask a few questions about the apartment on Park Street? What was your name? Is my name, uh, my name is Juan Hernandez. It's been rented. Uh, hello, my name is Sanjay Kumar. I am calling about the apartment on Park Street. It just rented. My name is Tyrone Washington. I'm calling about the apartment for rent on Park Street. It's not available. I use a wheelchair and... It's gone. Hello, my name is Graham Wellington. I'm calling about the apartment for rent on Park Street. Is that still available? Yes, it is. What oh, is? Housing discrimination really? is illegal. If you think you've been a victim, call us. before <laughs> that that has actually made me very amused um <laughs> hilarious so now that we've had a moment to like hear some of your cast tell me how what were some of your inspirations to put your show together which shows do you watch which ones do you like well oh yeah i know well i actually watch all the reality shows because I had, I had a vision on how I wanted to do my show, so I sit and watch all of them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's great. <laughs> we actually have another caller on. Her name is Lena. Hi, Lena. Hi. Actually, my name is Alina. How are you? Oh, hello, Lena. Can, we're just going to pop up your volume for a second. and he, Can you introduce yourself one more time? Yes, my name is Amina. Oh, Amina. hey. Is Lena on the show as well? No, that's just a friend of mine. Hey, Amina! Hi, Amanda. <laughs> Hi, I just wanted to call in and just say congratulations on all of your success. The show is just having uh, great reviews, and there's so much buzz around it. I can't wait until it airs. I know that this will be a huge hit on, on whatever network it's aired on. I just want to say I'm really proud of you. And the cast, you guys are beautiful. Everything is really coming into uh, into fruition here, and it's wonderful. Oh, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Definitely. <laughs> well, what I'm already doing, thank you so much for calling. That is such a really, that's a real boost to you. Because what I've already noticed is that we've had so many callers for you. So, I mean, she, Pam, this woman has her own built-in audience. Yes, she's a <laughs> Yes, she does. I tell you, Miranda's a 
very popular person, and I believe it's because of her warm heart and her beautiful personality. Yeah. So. Oh, oh my gosh, that's so great! Yeah. <laughs> Thank Pam, you, Pam. Let's try to put up together a fun theme song for the real women <laughs> of St. Louis. Can you think? Can you find like a fun beat or something that we could do for them? Um, okay. Uh, Ready? Let's see. We're, we're just going to play around. <laughs> okay, am I looking at the rock or who's looking at the rock here? I like it. That's a fun beat. Uh, <laughs> what? I like it. I think that was really exciting because St. Louis is also known for really having music and there, it's it has such culture in yes, that in that town so do you try to incorporate that into all of your videos of uh, uh, all of your shows l a little slice of st louis yes i do yeah we go to different locations and shoot and jazz and listen to them. that's what we do to try to culture everything into a letter know st louis it's a big city right but people just <laughs> overlook the city right because it's like oh well every, all the the artists are gone, the talent yeah. is gone, so we're just trying to bring it back. It's something St. Louis need at this time. Absolutely. Wait, what are some of the big stars that we know from St. Louis? Well, you have Fred Sanford, oh. Tina Turner, mm. oh. uh, Brad Pitt. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. And is, isn't... Nelly also? Yes. I'm sorry. Okay, Nelly. okay. Yes. I didn't want to just say it was and he wasn't. <laughs> yes, Nelly yeah. is from St. Louis. And Louis. Okay, yes. great. The rapper <laughs> Nelly, that's great. And you're from St. Louis. Yes. So born and raised? I'm born and raised in East St. Louis. Oh, is there a difference? Let's talk about it. Actually, it's uh, uh, St. Louis, Missouri and East St. Louis, Illinois. Oh, yeah. So we have the bridge that, okay. that divides the city, which is this less than five minutes. Oh, okay. You cross over the bridge, you're in East St. Louis, you cross back over the bridge, you're in St. Louis. That's, I did not know that. Yes. And I was born here, and I did not know about this kind of <laughs> geography. This is what I've just learned. Did yes. you know that, Pam? No, the only thing I know about St. Louis, correct me if I'm wrong, Loranda, yeah. is it the gateway to the west with yes. that big, big arch? arch? Yes, the That's arch is in St. Louis. Arch. As you see, the arch is on our scissory. Oh, yeah, yeah. I did oh, see it's that. It's behind us. Oh, that's great. I want to play that again. Um, <laughs> so now th your choice to make it a half hour, it, I think is great because it's going to be fun and compact. Right. How do you create your whole episode like from beginning to end? How do you create a story for each of your sh episodes? Well, we actually pick a story from each one of the girls. Oh, okay. And that's how we create the stories. Okay. Yeah. okay. And have you guys been friends? I mean, I know your sister, she's known you for her whole life, but have you guys been friends for a long time, all the people who are yes, on the show? we okay. have. Yes. Oh, we all have been friends for a quite, oh, quite 20 years. Now, is everyone, like, single, married? Are they finding dates? Like, what's going on it's on the show? There's only one that's married, and oh. that's my twin sister. Oh, my goodness. Rashonda. Shout out to Shonda and we are. <laughs> so is her husband on the show too? How does he feel about it? Well, he's not on the show, but he's behind it 100%. Because oh. he's an author and okay. a writer. So he writes books. Okay, so, great. Yeah. Well, this is going to be a perfect time for us to, I'd like to show the sizzle reel one more time since you've got a chance to hear from so many of the cast who's called in and fans. So that's amazing. And then when we come back from showing the sizzle reel one more time, I just want to know if um, there's anything else that you would like to say. Because afterwards, we're going to do a learn time moment where LaRonda is going to do what she does best, which is hair, and it's going to transform me into something else. And then we'll continue to get callers for the rest of the, the night. So back in a moment, here's a fun sizzle reel from the real women of St. Louis. <laughs> I'm so excited. Real, real, real women. Women of St. Louis. Loranda. Ida. Chastity, Kelly,
Why do you have a problem with me and her being friends? Because you don't quite know the meaning of a friend. I'm Ida. I'm all about business. I know what I want and I know how to go get it. I'm Chastity and I am the baby mother of the famous rap artist. And I'm also a nurse because I love to help people. And I also have the type of personality. Either you're going to love it or leave it. I'm Kelly, the sister of Kamori Lee Simmons. I'm known for snapping and shutting the bitch down. I'm Miranda, ex-wife of a former NFL player. I run my own business and I live life to the fullest. I'm LaShonda, the CEO of Millennium Publishing and Production, and I take care of business. Why do you have a problem with me and her being friends? Because you don't quite know the meaning of a friend. Hi, welcome to um, <laughs> um, Learn Time with DeHaley. And what we're gonna do is um, adjust this camera right here <laughs> so that we can see LaRonda perfect and um, just want to shout out to all of my crew out here Prescott and doing the cameras and we have all these wonderful people around so exciting and LaRonda is going to be doing something very fantastic I've given her some pins and she's gonna see if she can transform my hair. So Lorenda, this is what's going on. <laughs> Go. I have a wedding on, on Friday and I just wanted to do something exciting. I just wanted to like, you know, create, you know, some drama. I was thinking maybe like a faux hawk. I don't know, what do you see that I could do? Uh, we can pin it up and leave you kind of like a few little bangs here. Oh. Pull it all up. Oh where wow. It be like oh my rolled goodness. Rolled up let's in a little roll. Oh, let's do it, let's go for it. All right, let's do it. I can't wait. So this is these are all pins that you can just buy from a store. And I I mean and what create whatever idea you want. I like your hair. That's super cute. Thank you so much. What's your favorite hairstyle to do? Uh weeds, French roll, natural hair. Oh you do? Okay. I do a lot of natural hair. Oh great. Press. What do you what do you recommend if you don't want to really do your hair? do more dye in your hair, but then your roots are beginning to show. Is that that? Well, we have to use dye if you want, <laughs> if you don't want the roots to show, the gray. Oh, But no. you have to do semi, put your color oh. retouch on there. Oh, a tel color retouch. Yes. Oh, okay. So. Wow, you're really fast. <laughs> I like it. Pretty it's getting really pretty, Pam. Get ready for the transformation. Look at this profile. Beautiful. So exciting. You have a beautiful. Oh. It's looking so flawless. Oh, you're going to be fabulous. Oh my goodness, it's going to be a big reveal. You should see from this side, too. Yeah, I'm getting very excited. <laughs> I think this is the way to go. Uh, oh my goodness, now it's coming up even further. It's so exciting. I have now, this is the learn time. This is, these are straight pins, right? Oh, look at this. It's getting even more, <laughs> more exciting. <laughs> and you're just doing this without a mirror. This right. is how... Fly and fabulous. This is being creative of 22 years in the hair yeah, business. Oh expert. my goodness, I love it. Wow, look at that. Who's that girl? DeHaley. DeHaley. Bam. Oh, and then we're just tucking in there. We're just like a tuck and we're just a tuck and a tuck. There you go. There I go. I'm now elegant and chic. <laughs> oh, oh, who's this? Hair by LaRonda. Hair by LaRonda. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, LaRonda, thank you so much. You are so welcome. Um, we are going to still be here with LaRonda. So please, if you have more calls for her, it's 626-794-2116. We, what we're going to do now is, LaRonda, I'm going to do um, a DeHaley Live flashback. And you'll get to see, have a seat. Thank you. You deserve a load off. <laughs> oh my God, for all that hard work. Thank you so much. Um, we're going to do a DeHaley Live flashback. Wow, I'm really loving it. A DeHaley Live flashback 
where we are going to show an old episode of De Haley Live, and um, you will see um, some some funny moments. And this one is when I had the Triple X episode. It was a very scandalous episode of <laughs> my friend bringing her sexual products onto the show. Wow, somebody is already losing his mind back there. <laughs> and I had a fun caller, mm -hmm. and it was my mom. Hilarious. Let's roll that clip, and we'll be back with LaRonda Johnson of The Real Women of St. Louis. <laughs> I am Entozaki X, your host, and with me is our black first lady. Or should I say, first black lady, <laughs> Michelle Obama. Oh, such an honor. Hi, Antizaki. <laughs> Asalaamu Alaikum, my sister. <laughs> Malika Masalam, but I am not Muslim. I am Entozaki X, your host, and with me is our black first lady, or should I say first black lady, <laughs> Michelle Obama. Oh, such an honor. Hi, Entozaki. Asalaamu Alaikum, my sister. Malika Masalam, but I am not Muslim. I'm Christian. My whole family is Christian. Barack, the girls. So, God bless you. Obama. Muslim for black. Am I right? Um, Obama actually means blessing. <laughs> right. A black blessing. <laughs> and Tazaki, um, I've never met someone with a single mindedness to talk about blackness. It's incredible. That's right. I'm Entozaki X with some serious black issues. Oh, we have a caller. Hi, caller. Hello. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. So how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I think we can hear your playback on on your thing, so you're going to have to turn it down. Okay. I will. Hello? Yes, I'm calling to tell you that um, I lost uh, the viewing, but I'm back on air. I'm back, <laughs> and I'm seeing you right now. That's great. Do you want to identify yourself, caller? Yes, um, Adi, Adi Hall. <clears throat> it's my mother. <laughs> exactly. So I wanted to know, are you getting me some of those, some of one of those presents? Christmas. Oh my goodness! I don't know which one. I'm not. I. I don't. I'm so flustered. Um. Well, let's go. I'm. I don't even know. Did you want one of these? Did you want the handcuffs, Mom? Is that what you were looking to get? No, I haven't seen all of them yet. Oh. <laughs> well. 
So I'll, great. I'll, I'll still look more. You know what, Mom? Now that you've called, we're actually going to do a, a fun game with all of our callers where I describe something to you, and it's called Dirty Mind, and you tell me what it is. Now, Carla, I'm going to have you pick a question to ask my mom to see if she knows what this could be. Again, it's okay. my mom. <laughs> all right, Mom. So, Hi, Mom. So just see if you can figure out what this is. Okay. Okay, I'll, let me, I'll do my best. Okay, ready? Yes. All right, here we go. A finger goes in me. You fiddle I with. I can't hear you. <laughs> Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, just go a little slower. Okay. A finger goes in me. You fiddle <laughs> with me when you're bored. The best man always has me first. What am I? Can you say it again? The best man always has me first. You fiddle with me when you're bored, and a finger goes in me. What am I? What do you think it is? A finger goes in it. You fiddle it when you're bored, and the best man has you first. Yes. That's your nose. What? What do you, Pam is raising her hand. Do you think, what do you, what do you think it is, Pam? I think it's the no. ring. It's the wedding it's ring. It's the wedding ring. <laughs> the wedding ring. <laughs> it's the okay, wedding okay. ring. Well, thank you so much for calling, Mom. I'm glad you went for nose yeah. versus something else. Um, <laughs> stay tuned. We're going to show you some products. Please let me know which products you would like for Christmas. Oh, and actually your anniversary with Dad is coming up. So maybe... Carla can get us some discounts on something for your anniversary with Dad. We'll put in, uh, put together an anniversary package for Mom. An anniversary Dad. package for my parents. Yes. There's absolutely. nothing that would make me more uncomfortable. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a very nice uh, riddle. Uh, I enjoyed the, uh, the guest being. Yeah, pass it along. Maybe you can um, throw it out to um, some of my aunts. I think they'll enjoy it. Yes, I will. Okay. So, thank Bonne you. Week. Have a good show. Merci. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. And Aww. Pam, uh, bye bye. And uh, also Pamela. Oh, nice to meet you. Bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. Bye bye. That is too cute. I love that. That was That's very cute. cute. That's cute. We're going to put it together, together a package for Mom and Dad. We are. Well, we're going to. Yeah! Wasn't that fu such a fun episode, Pam? And when we played that crazy, <laughs> dirty mind game. And I Pam got everything right. She got everything right. LaRonda, there was one, there, we had these crazy questions and you had to figure out what we were talking about. And one was like, oh, thousands of people went down on me. Oh. I got rammed into by something, something hard. hard. And we're like, ah, oh, what is this? And then... <laughs> What did you say it was, Pam? The Titanic. The Titanic. <laughs> but it's called Dirty Mind for a reason. So, you know, it can be very scandalous. Um, we're back with LaRonda Johnson, who has done my hair fabulously on um, the Learn Time with DeHaley. And uh, LaRonda, do you have, um, I mean, you have such skills. So what we're going to say is you have your own shop, don't you? Yeah, I have my own shop back in East St. Louis. Ooh. Yes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and also, LaRonda is also doing um, hair also here yeah. in Studio City. Can we, can you tell us where that is? Uh, we're located in Studio City. The salon is Studio 818-13211 Ventura Boulevard in Studio City, California. So you do natural hair, weaves, curls, braids, whatever you want, French braid, twists. Whatever you want, relaxers, color, chemical, whatever you like. Can we still get a jerry curl there? Yes. Oh my goodness! <laughs> jerry curls are still in effect. Jerry curls are still, are still in. No. Are people still coming in for jerry curls? Yes. No, they're not. Yes, they are. <laughs> That's who you should really put on your show. Those people who are still trying to rock the jerry curl. That is like a thirty-year-old hairstyle. They're still getting jerry curls. What? 
What about the Wave Nouveau? Is that still happening? Yeah, that's the one they get, the Wave Nouveau. Not the Carefree anymore, but the Wave Nouveau. Oh my gosh, that was my <laughs> first chemical product and it was so sad. Literally, I had this beautiful natural hair that went to my shoulders and I wanted to have that I guess I watched too much Coming to America. I don't know. <laughs> I just wanted to have that curly, just carefree, curly. Carol, and right. then all of my hair fell out. Ooh. That was horrible. Oh. But I'm back to this, and I've been hey, rocking fam, this. this is ever. And look at that beautiful. <laughs> so make a look at. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, Pam. <laughs> um, so, Laranja. You have such a bright future ahead of you. I'm so excited about this show. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us some of the networks that you're pitching it out to, or is that top secret? Well, actually, it's not top secret. We're trying to pitch it to Bravo on, if we can get it on Oprah's show. On. Oh, very well, nice. Well, that's my main focus is her show. Oh, great. And uh, MTV, mm -hmm. We TV style. Whichever network that, you know, okay. would love to have us on there. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. and that is great. I'm wishing you the best of luck with that. Thank you so much. I am so excited about ladies doing it for us. As you can see, it's Pam is on my show. You're on my show. Mm -hmm. I'm a lady. We're all, like, out there trying to put our right. artistry to work. This is so fantastic. I already see the future is bright. You mean, look how many callers were on this show. I mean, it's so <laughs> amazing. Oh, look, these are some of the cast. Who's this? LaShonda, my twin sister. Ooh, fantastic. <laughs> Who else do we have to show? Oh. We have Kelly, Kamora, Lee Simmons' sister. Oh, my goodness. Oh. And Kelly was the one who called with a crazy uh, style. Right. <laughs> well, she's looking pretty stylish right there. Yeah, she, she very stylish. But, you know, she go a little overboard when I be like, tone it down. Tone it down. <laughs> so that's you on the squatting down there. And then who stands? That is Chastity. Chastity is above you? Yes. Oh, who also called in? Yes. Then there's your sister with the stripes. Yes. And Kelly at the end. Yes. Oh, fantastic. That mm -hmm. is really great. And.